In this tutorial video, I'll be showing you how to create a Discord bot that will automatically retrieve the latest posts from certain Instagram accounts and display them here on Discord. I've made a video like this before, but that bot was not automatic. This one will be. Before we begin, please note that I will be assuming you have Python already installed. You can watch a video about installing that here. Also, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on bell notifications. If you'd like to see some of my other projects, then please check out my social media. Or if you'd like to support me even further, then please check out my Patreon account or consider making a one-time donation here on YouTube itself. It would be very much appreciated. But enough of that, let's get into the video. Okay, so if you want to make a Discord bot, then it makes sense to also have a server where you're going to test the bot. So I have a test server right here. You should go ahead and create your own. You can do so by clicking the add server button here at the bottom of the Discord interface. Now we have to go and create the bot and then invite the bot to our server. So in Google, I'll also leave a link in the description. I need you to search this discord developer portal so then click this first link here and then on the top left go to applications and then create a new one i'll call this dc auto insta go ahead and create and now we have to make a bot for this application so go to the bot tab here on the left you can change any information here if you want but I'm mostly interested in the intents here. Now intents are basically like permissions that your bot has. Now I'm pretty sure we only need the message content intent, but keep in mind that we might have to come back to this later. And also this token is gonna to be very important later. So we definitely have to keep this open. Now we have to invite our bot. So go to OAuth2, scroll down a bit, and we are making a bot. Now there's one other thing you also have to enable here and it's applications.commands. This is because our bot's gonna use slash commands. Now below that is the bot permissions. I always choose administrator just to make things easier because this gives you all the permissions and you don't have to go check out which permissions you need. But if you're planning on having your bot joining other servers, then it's important that you actually go and check the correct permissions. So then if you scroll down just a tiny bit more, you'll see this generated URL. Just click on copy and go put that in a new tab. And then this should open Discord and you can choose the server that you want to invite this bot to. So test server is the one I have now. So I'll click continue. And then right here, as you can see, it's asking, are you sure that you want this bot to have administrator on your server? Now, since I made the bot, I'm gonna authorize. Anyway, we go to test server. And as you can see, the bot is now here, DC auto insta. Okay, just a quick pause right here. If you want to keep your bot online forever, then please check out today's sponsor, TMC Servers. TMC Servers provides hosting services for your Discord bots. That means you can run the bot online and you don't need to keep your own computer running the whole time. They even have a free option in case you want to test out the service. When you're ready to upgrade your server, you can use my code to get a 10% discount. And just to demonstrate how easy the service is to use, I'll quickly show you how to host a simple bot. What you want to do is go to the portal, then you want to click on order. This is where you're going to select the package that you want. So choose the one that fits best and then fill out the details on the next page and create your account. After ordering and account creation is done, you'll receive an email containing your login details. Use this to log into your console and then you'll be taken to the dashboard. On the left, you have some nice tools that you can use, but the important ones for now are the overview, console, files, and startup. To upload your bot, you wanna go to the files tab and then click upload. I'm going to upload both my ENV file, which contains the bot's credentials, as well as my actual Python file. It's purely just made to respond to users who send messages. For the next step, you wanna go to the startup tab and in the app file entry, I want you to type in the file name for the bot. Here on additional packages, I want you to add all the libraries that your bot uses. For my simple bot, I'm only using these two. Then you can go to overview and press start server and the bot should come online. As you can see on Discord, the bot is ready and when I send a message, it will respond to me. It's as easy as that. Thanks again to TMC servers for sponsoring this video. Go show them some love. Now the next step is to actually connect to the bot via code and then get it to come online. Okay, so on your desktop, I need you to create a new folder. This folder is going to contain the entire project. So we can call it DC, bot, insta, auto. You can call it whatever you want. You can open this, of course. And then I need you to go to view, show, and then make sure that file name extensions is enabled because we're going to be changing the types of the files. So right click, new, go to text document, and then call this .env and then change it. 
we are going to be storing the bots token inside of this. We can also create the bot itself. So you can call this anything DC auto insta <laughs> bot. I think I've used this order differently every single time. And then press enter and then yes. This is where the bot's logic is going to go. And then this is where the actual token is going to go or any other credentials. You should also keep in mind that you do need an Instagram account for this to work, obviously. I made a previous video about this. I'll link it in the description. I'm going to be using the same Instagram account that I used in that video. If I still have access to that, I'm not actually too sure. Now, I do want to point out that it's super important to not use your main Instagram account because it is against Instagram's terms of service to use bots on their site. And this video is only for educational purposes, but you shouldn't be using a main account. If you watched my Python installation video or any of my other videos, you'll know that I use Visual Studio Code as my code editor. You can go search it online if you don't have it downloaded. Super easy to download. You don't have to use Visual Studio Code either. You can use any other IDE. This is just the one I prefer. So I'm going to open this. And uh, if you're a complete beginner in programming, this is just the place where you write your code. And then I'm going to just drag this folder inside of this. And that will open the project inside of Visual Studio Code. So you can close this welcome. Inside of your .env file, I need you to type this. So Discord token is the token that we're going to be using to communicate with our Discord bot via code. The IG username is the username or email of the Instagram account that you're going to be using. And then the password is simply just the password of that account. Don't use your main Instagram account. Use a completely new account and then go put in the username and the password here. Now, obviously, don't share this with anyone because then they'll have access to your Instagram account. As for the Discord token, we can actually go back to this page. We can close this, go to bot and then reset token because we need this. But before I do this, I do want to point out um, and it's important for me to point this out in every single Discord video I make. Do not share this token with anyone. Do not share it in public. Don't do any of that because if anyone else has access to this token, they can control your bot. They can write their own code for your bot and we just don't want that happening. So don't share this token with anyone because what I've seen happen is people join my Discord server and they sometimes end up asking for help with their Discord bots, but then they accidentally share all the code and they end up sharing their tokens as well. So please don't do this. Your token should be private. But anyway, let's reset the token and I have to enter my password. So go ahead and follow the steps. Now, after it's been reset, you'll see it here at the bottom. And just a quick note, I know I just said we have to keep them private, but purely for the sake of this video, I'm going to be keeping mine open here. So go ahead and copy this. And then back in the code, you can go and paste this. Now, I'm not going to be filling in the username and the password on screen, but you should go and fill these in. All right, then inside of DC Auto Instabot, this is where we're going to be writing the code. Okay, so we need to download some libraries first before we can do any of the coding. So on the bottom left here, click on this, then go to Terminal. This is where you can execute commands. So I'll be pasting this, but you have to go and type this. This contains three libraries. So then you can press enter and I've already downloaded mine. So it'll say already satisfied, but yours will probably download. So just give it a second. Once that's done, you can click the bin icon and I believe that should be it. Now with everything set up, we can finally write the logic for the bot. And let me also mention that all the code will be on a GitHub repository, which you will find using the link in the description. We'll start off by importing all of the required libraries, and there are quite a few, so I've left comments next to them, so you can have a better understanding of what they'll be used for. But the main ones are the Discord ones here, which are obviously for Discord-related functionality, and the Instagram one here, which will be used for our Instagram bot. We'll then go ahead and set up our environment. This 
involves loading the .env file using the load.env function and then actually reading from that file right here. So our token will now be read from the env file and stored in a variable called token. And it's the same thing for the Instagram username and password. I've added three other variables here. The first one, dbpath, is the database name. We'll be using databases since we need some mechanism for storing the last posts we've retrieved and all of the accounts we want to track, stuff like that. Databases also make it possible for this bot to work in more than one Discord server, but probably not too many, otherwise the Instagram bot might get overworked. The second variable is the amount of seconds we want between each poll by the Instagram bot. The Instagram bot can't check all the accounts every second, so instead we'll set up a delay and make the bot only look about every two minutes. Max fetch is just the maximum amount of posts to retrieve for each poll. With environment setup now done, we need some kind of way to set up our database and some way to manage it. For the database creation, I'll execute a simple SQL query to create the database for us if it doesn't already exist. This piece of code will basically connect to the database and create it if it's the first time. Then it will create a cursor object and create a table for us. This table will contain the server ID, channel ID, Instagram user, and last post. This is the only table that we'll store in our database, at least for this video. That was database creation. So what about database management? Well, what I'll do for that is paste a bunch of the management functions and I'll explain what they do as we go. But I won't go too in depth about the SQL code because this isn't a tutorial about SQL. Our bot will use a subscription system. So if you want to retrieve an Instagram account's posts, you'll have to tell the Discord bot to track them. So that's what this add sub function will do. It will basically just keep track of the Instagram account you want to retrieve posts from. We'll also do the exact same thing for unsubscribing. This just removes from the database. We'll also have one to list the subs from a certain guild, as well as one to retrieve all the subscriptions in general. The last one will actually make changes to the database, and we're basically going to store the last post that we've received from an account. There's still some more setup we have to do if we want the bot to work, and that's setup of both the Instagram and Discord bots. We'll first of all create the Discord client using the default intents, and enabling the message content intent so that the bot can read messages on the server. For the Instagram bot, we'll try and load settings and then log in using our username and password. These settings actually help a lot because they help in preventing Instagram's bot detection from banning our bot. They store information about the session, such as cookies and other things, so that the bot doesn't have to do a fresh login every single time. The bottom part is just in case this is our first time using the bot. Okay, what do we have so far? We basically have all the database functionality as well as all the setup done. We still need to add some slash commands in order to control our discord bot and we also need our bot to automatically check the instagram accounts every few minutes so that it can send us the latest posts before we do any of those however i'd like to create a helper function that will handle discord embeds for us embeds are like special messages that can take media and format them nicely into the message we obviously need this because our bot will share posts from instagram so let's create that function first we'll call it create media embeds and it'll take a media object as an argument. The Instagram API library will pass a media item into this function and will then return a list of embed items that Discord can use. We'll start off by storing the caption and the post URL and then creating an empty list called embeds. And this will of course store the embeds. Then I'll check if the media type is 8 and if it has an attribute called resources. Media type 8 means it's a carousel post with multiple images and we need to create a separate embed for every single image. Then we'll go through each resource and create a discord embed object set its attributes and append it to the embeds list we can then return the embeds because we've handled the entire thing now since we have a return inside of the if statement it means any code we write outside will only run if we didn't enter this if statement so it's basically like an else statement this bootleg else statement will handle the case when we're dealing with any type of instagram post that isn't a carousel it's basically going to be the exact same code as inside the if statement except we'll need to handle videos slightly differently and then we can return the embeds list that's it for the embed creator next i'll go over to the slash commands we'll be making for the bot what you'll notice for a lot of them is how we'll be using the embeds function we just made the first two slash commands are ones i created and explained in my previous instagram bot video so i'll only be pasting them and explaining what they do but basically this first one will retrieve a certain amount of posts from an instagram user and post them on discord this second one 
Insta search does the exact same thing, but uses search terms and keywords, not a user's profile. You can search stuff like pixel art or Python. I'll add three more slash commands. And the first one will be the method we're going to use to subscribe to an Instagram account on the Discord server to receive posts from them. It's a really simple command if you look at it, because we're basically using the database function we made earlier and just sending a message on the Discord server that the subscription has been successful. The same goes for unsubscribing. We're literally just using our database functions again but the difference with this one is that there's a chance the user might not have been in the database in the first place so the return message on discord can either be unsubscribed or nothing to remove our last slash command will also be somewhat simple it's purely just for us as the users to see the Instagram accounts we've subscribed to. Once again, we're simply just using our database functions. This command will either list all the subscribed accounts or state that we haven't subscribed to any of them yet. This next section of the bot is really the meat of it all. We need some way to continually ask the Instagram bot if the users we've subscribed to have posted, and then those that have need to be sent on Discord. We can use Discord tasks for this because they run in the background and you can loop them. These loops can have custom delay times in between each loop, and we'll be using those variables that we made at the start of our program. We'll call the task poll Instagram, and we'll start by getting all these subscriptions. Then we'll iterate over them and try to fetch their latest posts. Next, we only extract the latest posts that we're interested in, the ones that we haven't seen yet. We should also confirm that we're in a guild and a text channel that's correctly subscribed to the Instagram account. We're finally ready to send these posts on the Discord server, so we'll create the embeds and then send the messages. We also need to update the last seen post and add a delay in time to make the bot appear more human-like. The very last step is to set up the onReady event to sync the command tree and start the Instagram polling task. We can then run the bot using bot.run and passing the token. We finally completed the bot and I'll demonstrate how it works in the next section. So let's go ahead and test it. Okay, so I'm about to run the bot, but before I do that, I just want to clarify one last thing and i said it before but i just want to put some more emphasis on this this poll seconds is the amount of seconds it's going to take before we ask the instagram bot hey are there any new posts so it's going to be every two minutes you can set this lower but i don't recommend that you do because that does seem a bit uh sus and instagram bots are against their terms of service so you have to be careful and i'm going to now run the bot and you'll see that it creates the database file here for us. This file that are generated here, igsession.json, that's just some settings about this current session. And the bot's going to use that the next time it logs in so that it seems more like a real user. This will also help with Instagram's bot detection. Okay, but enough of that. As you can see, I'm on Discord. This is the bot that's currently online. And what you'll notice is if you do this and you type in Insta, these are the five commands that our bot has access to. I'll start at the top. Insta sub means you are going to subscribe to an Instagram account so that you can receive posts from them. Insta last simply just fetches the last n amount of posts from a Instagram user. Insta list just lists everyone you've subscribed to. Insta search is the same as Insta last. Uh, but instead of an account, it's a search query like pixel art or Python or coding or anything like that. And then Insta unsub is obviously just unsubscribing from an Instagram account. I've shown search and last in a previous video. What I really want to focus on is sub. So I'll do that and I'll do quandropic seven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new post, drag some pixel art I made a while back. Okay. So since the bot also hasn't seen these two, ooh, since the bot also hasn't seen these two posts, it's probably going to display them once that two minute poll is over. Okay, there we go. So since, okay, so first of all, we can see that the posts have come through, but it also fetched these two. And there's a really good reason for this. Uh, you'll see in the code, uh, that was the variable that we set right here. So it's going to try and fetch the last five but since there's only three posts, it's going to take all three of those. But if we wait another two minutes, it won't send anything because it, it's now up to date with this. So it knows this was the last post and it's going to wait for a newer one. And I might as well show the list and this will list all the Instagram accounts that you've subscribed to. Currently, it's only this one. And then Insta Unsub just does the same, well, 
not the same it is the opposite as the subscribe one so you can then unsubscribe thank you so much for watching the video i really hope that you enjoyed it and found it helpful also please remember to like the video subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications if you'd like to see some of my other projects then please check out my social media or if you'd like to support me even further then please check out my patreon account or consider making a one-time donation here on youtube itself it would be very much appreciated thanks again and i hope to see you in the next video